You ready? My name is Ben Christensen. I'm from Arizona. I'm obsessed with the desert and the Western lifestyle. I've been shooting photography for years, riding Harleys, and making Western movies. Today I get to tell you about my Heritage Softail Classic and how I made it my own. That was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> that was the it. last one. That was it. Woo! I'm excited. We're at Desert Wind Harley Davidson. I got a call from them. My Heritage Softail is done. I brought it, dropped it off to get a couple things done to it between positioning, engine performance, and overall custom look to make this bike my own. So it's all about less is more. Yep, that's it. That's it, dude. Holy crap. Everyone wonders where I put my hat on all my rides because I bring it with me. I don't do another box or something different. I put it right here. And I create this little rope right here. It slides up. And I can go 100 miles per hour. I can go all over the place. It doesn't affect the fit of my hat or crease it anywhere. It floats and it'll stay there forever. That's why I got this bike. It's for the hat too. Desert wind. Not only did so good, and the technician that worked on it, his name's Aaron, he's awesome. He just kept me in touch with the process, told me where, what was going on, when to pick it up. I learned so much from him as well about the bike, about performance, and even, even things that I need to do when I ride to make everything last a lot longer and stay under warranty and all that stuff. So that was really insightful. And then Joe, through the service, he's just amazing. He talked me into helping me find the right parts to keep the overall classic look. The dealership was awesome. Harley's amazing. It's a dream. Harley Davidson for life. Let's go ride it. So this is my Heritage Classic. This is what I did. First, emblem. I put my own timeless uh, shield Harley Davidson emblem. So I'm not gonna even tell you what year it is because it doesn't deserve a year. It's the Heritage Softail Classic. The most timeless bike Harley has to offer. I put some vintage, awesome Harley Davidson leather saddlebags because when it comes to saddlebags, I'm a believer, they just need to be leather. They need to wear, they need to have character just like the saddlebags on the horse. Then what I did was I painted the two outside lights, a little bit of yellow tone for the outside lights. Love that, adds a little vintage vibe. Wanted to keep a classic, didn't want to take away from it, but I wanted a touch of modern performance. So I went with the Screaming Eagle pipes, kept the black heat shield, a little touch of chrome, all about the balance, and then the Screaming Eagle air cleaner. Just because you can do everything, it doesn't mean you should. Just like photography, just like Photoshop. And I look at this as a timeless piece of classic art. So if you were wondering, and if you've been thinking about if I should do the stage two cam on my bike or not, I'm just gonna tell you from my personal point of view and my experience, it's everything. When you need it, it's there. When you're trying to rip, it's there. And you can cruise and smooth and it's just like, it now feels like a Harley is supposed to be. Harley Davidson, classic, simple, heritage, timeless bike. Boom!